Hey, Chris. So, yeah, we've been talking about this weather today, <laughs> that it's, uh, you know, for some, it's a little on the dreary side. Let's go ahead and take a live look outside. I want to show you what it looks like. We started out this day with mostly clear skies. So when the sun first came up, it was actually really nice. And then little by little, we saw the clouds move in. And now we're here we're taking a live look from our camera atop the Empire State Building. It is cloudy and 52 degrees. Winds are out of the west at 24 miles an hour. So we continue to deal uh, with these breezy conditions and then the gusty winds. And it's just blowing the pollen all around. The pollen report has been updated. So now tree pollen still extreme. That is extremely high. Grass is very high. Weeds are very high. Mold is very high today. So lots of the common allergens are unfortunately plentiful. If you're an allergy sufferer, it's a bit rough for you today. Temperatures range from 40 degrees in Kingston to 55 degrees for Huntington and Quag, 61 for Lakewood. So we do watch those temperatures, you know, with a fairly good range. Right, a 21 degree range this noon in terms of where we are. Now, we are expecting a high today of 59 degrees. We were at 71 degrees on Sunday, uh, yesterday, 67. But tomorrow we'll be back into the 60s, 63 for your Wednesday. By Thursday, 71 degrees expected for a forecast high. And Friday looks to be even warmer. Some of our uh, beach locations, uh, like Southampton, might only get to 61 degrees, Hempstead 72, but we're expecting 82 degrees for a high temperature on Friday, 80 for Mayapac, 84 for Caldwell, 86 for Sussex and East Brunswick. So the heat will once again be on. We may not get to 90 degrees, but we certainly look like we'll get into the 80s by the end of the work week. Today, yeah, lots of clouds and some moisture. A lot of that has stayed just north of the city, but still, we have seen a little bit of drizzle and a little bit of light shower activity. Activity, all of that associated with this area of low pressure. And you really can very easily make out the, the circulation around that area of low pressure. So it's sending us the clouds, but it's also sent some moisture in our direction as well. As we head throughout the day, still a slight chance to see some additional showers. We get some clearing tonight. So that is helpful, although it will be colder tonight. And then tomorrow we're in for, I think, a nicer day. A few clouds out there, but it should be mostly sunny and certainly a little bit warmer on Wednesday. For Thursday, warmer still, although we'll likely start start the day with some clouds and some showers. Then we get some clearing. And uh, then, of course, I mentioned on Friday, we're going to watch those temperatures soar into the 80s. Uh, so our chances for rain, 10% eh, today, 10% Thursday and Friday, and then a 30% chance of seeing some rain on Saturday. Right now, it looks like our best chance for rain is actually going to be Saturday night into Sunday. So just keep that in mind. For today, partly sunny. We're going optimistic with this one. Partly sunny and 59 degrees breezy with the occasional wind gusts. For tonight, mostly clear and colder. We drop to 46 degrees tonight in the city, 30s for our suburbs. And then your first alert seven-day forecast shows that by Friday we'll be at 82 degrees. But even that warm-up, short-lived, will be back into the 70s and even 60s by the end of the weekend, Chris. All right, Elise, thank you. We'll come